Welcome back guys to another video. If you guys want to check out the trades of the mods and admins of the Discord server and also my own personal trades in live time and get notified by them, check out the Patreon link below, select some tiers and definitely view some of these really awesome trades and copy them, make some money. It's honestly a pretty good deal and you get to support the Discord server and the channel. So let's get back to the main topic of the video, which is the best option strategy out there, which is covered calls. Now, I'm sure a bunch of you guys probably love buying calls and buying puts. And it's for real, like in this crazy volatile market, I really don't recommend doing this, especially when you get the one month chart of SPY looking like this. If you guys bought calls in the very beginning, you pretty much made no money right now because of the data decay. But of course, if you bought puts anyway, you didn't make any money either. The people that really made money, the people selling the calls, selling the puts. So, so far, if you buy calls, for example, right here, the market dipped, it's really, really hard to play this market. In fact, it fluctuates so much on a daily basis, it's nearly impossible to play calls and puts. It's a really, really hard market. So what I really recommend is covered calls. For example, let's do cover calls on Apple. Now, for cover calls, you need 100 shares. So you need about $11,000 for Apple cover calls. And same thing with Coca-Cola, you need about $5,000 for cover calls. Tesla, about $42,000. The thing is, I'm pretty sure a lot of your brokerage accounts have at least two, dollars $3,000. So you could definitely do like XLF or Bank of America. Those are the cheaper options. If you want to get kind of crazy, you could try out the airlines or the cruise stocks. Honestly though, if you use the ETF jets, it's like a combination of all the major airlines together. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the airline industry will not all just fail altogether. So Jets is a pretty good one as well. But Apple is what we're going for. We bought 100 shares and here's what we do. So we're gonna be picking an expiration date sometime next week around October 16th. We will be selling calls. So we've been looking at Apple. It's been pretty flat for the rest of the week. And honestly though, if you have 100 shares of Apple, not only do you guys get dividends on a quarterly basis, but when a stock goes up, you make money from the stock. So you can pretty much sell something like this call right here, the $117 call, which is about a $2.50 difference from the actual share price. So generally speaking, Apple doesn't move that much. And on expiration date, if the share price goes from $114.50 above $117, let's say it goes up to $118, you're forced to sell 100 shares of your Apple stock to the other person at $117, even though the market is commanding at $118. That's how the other dude makes money. But hey, you made money as well because you got this $205 right away to your Robinhood account. And you also made the money difference between the share price and your strike price. So that's about a $2.50 gain for each share, which is around $250 plus 200 bucks here, you just made about 450 bucks in a single week. And that is honestly pretty chill. Now you guys may be wondering, oh, that's not that much money, man. It's only 4%. Did you know that if you consistently make two to 4% every single week, you will be easily double your money every few months? Compound interest right there. So the thing is what people don't notice is a lot of people like to gamble their money on SPY calls and puts. They like to gamble their money on Amazon calls and puts. Stop doing that. It's a waste of money. A lot of people, sure, you may strike lucky, but generally speaking, you don't make that much money consistently. The people that really make money consistently in the options market are the people doing cover calls. And the cool thing is, if the share price doesn't hit $117, let's say hit like $116.25, that doesn't really do anything. You still get to keep 100 shares and you still get to keep your minimum credit, which is honestly pretty cool. Now. Cover calls also acts as an insurance for the stock, which is very rare these days in the stock market and the options market, having insurance. So the stock price actually drops to, let's say $113. That's a loss of $1.50 per share. But that's it's not that painful since you got this minimum credit of $200 already. And when the share price drops, the prices of cover calls drop, which means you could close them on a cheaper price and you just made money right away. So if the stock drops, you make a lot of money from your cover calls, you could close them early and then reopen one right away at around this price, maybe $116.25, and you get even more insurance and even more premium. So it's kind of like a win-win for both scenarios. If the stock price goes up, your cover call value goes up as well, 
until around Friday, 3 to 4 p.m. That's when the most realistic price comes out. If the stock price drops, you're okay as well because your overall cover call does help you buffer that a little bit. It's kind of like insurance. I've noticed a lot that when I sell calls and the stock drops, it I don't really lose that much money because the cover calls actually like nourish it and actually puts it back together, puts some money in it. I could close the cover call and open one a little bit closer to the stock price and make even more money. It's honestly a really, really good idea. A lot of you guys have 100 shares of Tesla. All you rich guys out there, if you guys have 100 shares of Tesla, please, please do this. Let's pick October 16th. We're gonna be selling some calls. And we scroll all the way down. Since Tesla so far isn't really moving that much, you could honestly sell a call for the $433 strike price and literally make $1,000 every single week. It's as cool as that. And the crazy thing about Tesla is if you check out their overall stock price, it really isn't moving that much. It's consolidating around the $400, $430 mark for a very, very long time. So it's honestly perfect to start doing Tesla. You can clearly see for the past several weeks, it's only been around $400, $430 ish. If you guys sell calls for the $440 or $430, it's almost like a guaranteed win. And also, it's a really good strategy. A lot of people really need to utilize it. And even if you're forced to sell all our shares and you have a bunch of cash, you can simply sell cash secure puts. This is what I like to do on a daily basis. So you sell cash secure puts, you get $393 right away. And pretty much if the stock is above $113.75 on expiration date, you get your collateral money back and you don't have to buy shares and you still get to keep your minimum credit. If the stock price drops below that, let's say to $113, you're forced to buy 100 shares at $113.75, even though the market is saying it's $113. So that's a small loss, but you still have to keep a premium of almost $400. That is pretty nice. And once you get the shares, guess what you do? You start selling cover calls. If you guys wanna be super safe, you could drag Apple all the way out to $120. I really doubt that Apple could go up $5.50 in a single week. Like that's usually extremely rare. And even if that happens, that's a really good feeling as well because you just made about $5.50 per share. That's a lot of money right there. And you just made like bank. So, so far, I feel like a lot of people should really take note of this. Even if you guys don't have that much money, you can always try Coca-Cola. If you guys only have a few thousand dollars, you can always try the US Global Jets ETF. This is a combination of all the major airlines combined together. Sure, it's part of the airline industry, but it's not as scary as buying and playing individual airlines. Jets is also phenomenal, in my opinion, being pretty flat in the past month. If you guys also want to try something super crazy, you can always try like Walmart. Walmart seems to have pretty good premiums as well, and they seem to do pretty decent during like bad economic times. Check out Walmart if you sell some calls for next week. You'll clearly see they're pretty decent. You can make like $63, and I highly doubt Walmart could go up like $5 in a single week. So it's actually pretty decent. Obviously, the gains aren't as exciting as simply buying calls and puts and betting the market, getting like 50 or 70% in a single day. But keep in mind, this is pretty much a never lose strategy. If you check out my portfolio, this is what I do on a daily basis. I love selling cash secure puts. If I'm assigned shares, fine, I sell cover calls. Sometimes it looks kind of red, sometimes it looks pretty green, but you just slowly build your portfolio up and that's how you make cash. That's about it. Thanks for watching.